So I want to install this uh, switch all by myself. What I did was, I know where I want the switch to go. It's going to go in these screw holes here. So right below it, I just put a screw in here. And same on the other side. I know you can't see it. And now when I put my switch in, what I can do is just clean the ears on the inside of that screw head. And now there you go. So now my hands are free. I can just lift up one side, screw it in, and the other side, and I'm good to go. All right, so now we've got the ear resting on that screw. It becomes a fairly straightforward process. What we're gonna do is just lift this up. I'm gonna put this screw in, and I'm gonna tighten it with my hands first. For the people who don't do this a lot, please don't use a power drill of any kind trying to get this started. You risk the chance of cross-threading or stripping it all together. So the easiest thing to do is, like I said, lift it up a bit, line it up with your hole, put your screw in, turn it with your hands just a little bit just to get it started. And then once it's in, see if I can do this. Because I know when I record things, I always screw things up. Then use a good old screwdriver, a little bit of elbow grease, and just tighten it up. Do the bottom one first, because if you do the top one, it'll kind of start pulling down on it and away from it and put a little extra tension on those ears. So do the bottom one first, tighten her up. Again, come back later if you want to tighten it up with a drill or something, but usually hand tight's good enough. There it is, and now I can just get the other screw and off I go to the races.